former Scottish Tory leader Baroness Ruth Davidson said it best. So if the Greens and the SNP and if the SSP or any of the other parties who've declared an interest in independence get over the line and can make a coalition, make a majority, get the votes in the parliament, then they'll vote through a referendum. That's what democracy is all about. And Scottish Tory leader Douglas Ross explained what voting for the SNP would achieve at the last Scottish election. But people have to be really clear that a vote for the SNP is a vote for another independence referendum. Well, that's exactly what happened. Nicola Sturgeon's party has won this election with a record high vote share. And propped up by the Greens, the Scottish Parliament does have a majority for a second independence referendum. The people of Scotland overwhelmingly backed the SNP. Record high vote share for another independence referendum. Whilst the Scottish Tories stood on an explicit platform of opposing an independence referendum and lost. Now both the Tories and Labour are backing yeah, Brexit, Brexit, which 62% of voters in Scotland voted against. We are so far apart, it's ridiculous. It's a tragedy really, isn't it? Um, just have to look forward to Scotland being independent now. Scotland's future should be in Scotland's hands, not those of a Tory party that Scotland hasn't voted for in a Westminster election since the 1950s. As First Minister Nicola Sturgeon says... After everything that has happened, Brexit, Covid, Boris Johnson, it is time to set out a different and better vision. It is time to talk about making Scotland wealthier and fairer. It is time to talk about independence and then to make the choice. Pledge your support for Scottish independence at yes.scot.